We've just received digital footage of illegal aliens being dropped off in Martha's Vineyard. Apparently, the governor of Florida, Ron DeSantis, flew them there on the idea that communities, border towns in Texas and Arizona are bearing all the brunt. And maybe the people who make these policies should have to live with them. What's your view of this? You know, I actually I get a kick out of it watching these liberal mayors just, you know, throw their hands up and say we can't handle it because it's life every day for us in these border states. However, I'm not a fan of it, Tucker. I mean, we're just taking people here illegally who shouldn't be here. We're moving them further inland. My plan is the most bold, aggressive plan on the border. We're going to secure the border. We're going to call it what it is, issue a declaration of invasion on day one, get troops on the border in the form of our National Guard. We're going to stop people from coming over. And we're going to stop the the cartels from having control of our border. Trump endorsed candidate for Arizona governor. Carrie Lake actually sounds like a reasonable person when it comes to her take about these undocumented migrants. But to fix what she calls a border crisis in Arizona, Article 1, Section 10 of the Constitution is like declaring an invasion, which is like a declaration of war. Filling the void of being an unreasonable GOP politician was conservative pundits. Sean Spicer said, if you were going to proudly proclaim yourself a sanctuary city slash state, you can't whine when a bus slash plane of 40 illegal immigrants show up. Tammy said, white rich liberals love illegals until they have to be around actual illegals. But based on several accounts, Martha's Vineyard stepped up and met the demand. Here's from NPR. Everything from beds to food to clothing to toothbrushes, toothpaste, blankets, sheets. I mean, we had some of it, but we did not have the numbers that we needed. If there was any whining from Martha's Vineyard, it would have been about the lack of communication. Maybe this island town in Massachusetts would have been prepared for all of this if someone, anyone would have let them know ahead of time that about 50 migrants would be arriving by plane on flights paid for by Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, and that originated in San Antonio, Texas, the migrants touched down at about 3.15 p.m. local time. Later Wednesday, a spokesperson for DeSantis sent a statement to NPR and other news outlets confirming that the migrants were transported by Florida under a state program that was funded by the legislator earlier this year. The statement reads in part, states like Massachusetts, New York, and California will better facilitate the care of these individuals who they have invited into our country by incentivizing illegal immigration. NPR was able to interview three of the migrants late Wednesday. They said they had recently crossed the border in Texas and were staying at a shelter in San Antonio. They were told they would be flown to Boston where they could get expedited work papers. They were lied to. Yes, Martha's Vineyard was surprised by their arrival and no, people in border cities aren't surprised by the undocumented and those seeking refuge and asylum. Tammy would never tell the people in those border cities that if they don't love it, they can leave it. Now, these are the lives of human beings used for political points. Fox News was conveniently there to film this nonsense. So Florida has $12 million to pull this stunt, but not to take care of these people. So when Dan Rather said, grandstand all you want, fine, but to use human beings as pawns is despicable. These are people, folks, people, human beings, There but for the grace of God, someone responded with, laugh out loud, the level of hypocrisy is astounding in your statement. Because there's a sign in Martha's Vineyard that says, we stand with immigrants, with refugees. They did that. Where is the hypocrisy? But I guess he's owning the libs. How is this not human trafficking? Instead, the discussion became about Biden secretly flying migrants to different cities at night, which is largely part of deportation proceedings. The Trump administration did the same thing. And then the fentanyl being seized on legal ports of entry at the border, like the issue with drugs didn't spike during Trump's regime. With that said, Kerry Lake ain't going to do anything about this. The Trump regime didn't and his variants like Abbott aren't. Lake is using fear of the undocumented to get elected. For Rebel HQ, I'm Jeff Wiggins. My architect knows Japanese. For more from the Young Turks, stay right here. To see additional content from yours truly, click on the Jeff Wiggins hashtag. You can also find me on my YouTube channel, We Gonna Be Alright. Thanks for watching.